Hey, hey uh, this pilgrimage, we've been on four or five, and not only did we have a great time, not only was it meaningful, the staff was great. I learned more in this one than I have on any other. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity that you absolutely have to embrace. Thank you all. Beautiful cake for dessert. And Jim's gonna cut it. Jim, Jim, gonna I'm cut gonna it. Cut it. Jim from right. Spirit Radio is going to cut the cake. Are you ready? I'm ready. Glory. <laughs> we want to thank Steve and Jan and Ray for all of their efforts and all of their efforts. Oh, and don't forget the staff of the Notre Dame and Ron Beach. We also have a birthday in the crowd. Who's the birthday? <laughs>Jim Carroll is the executive director of Spirit Catholic Radio, and this is our fourth trip together. And I just want to compliment them for what they're doing for the Catholic world in the United States, and also for the great partnership that he has and made it so easy putting these trips together. Jim, it was a pleasure bringing you to Israel again. Uh, Steve, as always, we had a great time on this pilgrimage. We're looking forward to another one, the Holy Land. This is where Steve Ray comes alive. This man knows his Holy Land, so. And we want to thank Corporate Travel, too, for all the work they did for us, and Amer and the drivers and guides, best tours. And uh, we hope to, we're, we're already talking about another trip together, so. Another, looking forward to it. You. God bless all you. Right. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Safe travels. And thank you, Father, for recording for us. Of course. <laughs> uh, what a wonderful trip. Uh, excited <laughs> to, to uh, get back to the States to share with uh, the parishioners and, and my family and loved ones. Uh, all the many things we learn growing so much closer to our Lord by walking in his footsteps here in this uh, Terra Santa of the Holy Land. What a gift. Steve and Janet Ray, thank you so much. Spirit Catholic Radio, Jim Carroll, uh, everyone has just been so wonderful. It's been just a, a, a life-changing opportunity of a lifetime. Yep. Thanks. Thank you, and you are a great priest along the way, just to let you know. We've, you, you are one of the priests that get it. You understand the oh, time thanks. constraints and the logistics, and you just jump in and do it, and we really appreciate that. We were prayerful. We were very, but we had to keep things moving. Yeah, we had such a great itinerary, but it was a lot packed into uh, the amount of time we yeah. had here. Well done, Steve. We couldn't have done it without you. You you handle all the logistics and get us from point A to point B in a timely fashion. and. Uh, the uh, liturgies especially to get us into those holy sites for Holy Mass. What a gift. It was extremely moving, a lot more than I anticipated. I got so much out of it religiously, which I was coming here to look to see. You know, I want to see where Jesus walked, and, but I was able to touch where he walked, to touch where his blood dripped off the cross to touch the sepulcher, to be in where Mary received the word. It was just like, I'm getting, I'm going to cry all over again. I've cried about 60 times and I'm going to cry all over. It was just wonderful. Uh, I'm certainly blessed to be part of such a great apostolate in Spirit Catholic Radio. This is our second time going on pilgrimage with you and Janet though. And I would not travel with anyone else. You and Amr and his group, his team, do such a great job. I would encourage anybody interested in going on pilgrimage to the Holy Land, anywhere, to look up Steve Ray's website, catholicconvert.com. You can watch from home too, but in person's even better. Thank you very much, Stephen. <laughs> pilgrimage was great. Stephen Janet did an excellent job of leading our group and just tying in Old Testament, New Testament scripture and walking there. Where, the, where Jesus and the apostles walked. Uh, it was an incredible experience just to give it a witness to all that firsthand. Uh, a great joy, something I'll take with me and my priesthood for a long time. Uh, did you feel safe? Oh yeah, I did, uh, extremely safe. 
well organized and I think Steve and Janet did a fantastic job of moving us around efficiently and effectively and I recommend uh, you contacting Steve at any time for any tour and any pilgrimage so everything's good awesome it was wonderful I can't wait to go back and teach people and it was just kind of overwhelming but it was just hard to believe we walked where Jesus walked. Yeah. It's going to take a while to process all that. Opportunity, and I'm so thankful to have been able to go with you guys. Thank but you for everything, Steve. We had an awesome time. It was great. Recommend this trip to anybody. And hi to all of our friends and family in Columbus. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And thanks, Janet, standing behind us. Awesome. I loved it. It was very nice. Did Thank you feel you. safe? Yes, I did. Well, I thought the trip was awesome. I, uh, I'm just completely overwhelmed by how much there is to see and do in the Holy Land. But, uh, it, it really is beyond what I thought it would be for how much it brings the Bible stories to life. I didn't realize we knew so much about Christ's life beyond what's in the books. Um, so that was really awesome. I thought the trip was wonderful. Thank you so much, Steve and Jennifer, actually uh, having both my wife and I on the trip here. You know, I was here in 2006. I really didn't appreciate it as much as I really appreciated it this time. And I think uh, with you and your team, they did a wonderful job of coordinating everybody here. It was a great group in time. So thanks so much, and I hope to see everybody again. Well, it was great. It was great. It was, uh, I think your goal was to deepen your relationship with Christ and look at trying to look at the gospel more than you did before. And uh, that's what I know I've achieved. It's, uh, deeper relationship and, and uh, I'm going to look at the gospel and hold it perspective. So thank you. Do something, maybe something big, maybe something exciting, maybe something that sounds crazy, but I pray that you have the grace to say yes. So please say yes and do whatever he tells you, no matter how crazy it sounds. And there goes the first bus heading to the airport for an LL flight. It's seven o'clock in the evening. We got another one going at 3.30 in the morning and another one at seven in the morning. Goodbye, folks. It was awesome. Too short. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most fun thing I've done in my lifetime. Really? That's the truth. <laughs> What'd you think of that trip? I'll catch you. Steve, it was awesome. And 3.30 a.m. is even more awesome. awesome. Thank you. And this was my bucket list. My husband made it possible. I was truly blessed. And... Steve Ray is the only one I would go with for safety and knowledge-wise. Thank you, Steve and Janet. It was absolutely amazing. So glad I did it. I can't wait to come back. <laughs> absolutely humbling. Steve Ray does a phenomenal job with the trip. Um, you know, we can't ask for much more, and he's one of the best Catholic guides you could ever experience here in the Holy Land. So if you haven't gone, you need to go. Uh, do it today. Don't wait any longer. Um, God bless you. It was a fabulous, spiritual, wonderful trip. And I hope to be back for more. Thank you for trusting us and for hearing the Lord's call and coming on this trip. I always pray that the Lord will bring the people that he wants on these trips. So I consider each one of you handpicked by the Lord to be on this trip with these particular people for I do not know what reasons but I know each of you has a, your own story and I will continue to pray that the Lord will give you the grace and the courage to say yes to whatever he asks you to do because it might be something big who knows you may be making movies and you don't even know how to take pictures <laughs> or you may be called to go to Iraq or start a Bible study at your local parish so we really have enjoyed having you with us and you've been a great group of folks. Cooperative, punctual, made it so smooth for us. So we really have fond memories of all of you. And we hope you look at our other trips we have coming up. we got a lot of crazy places we go. <laughs> Only Catholic, biblical places like this. And I know you want to hear it one more time, so here it goes. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Right. And they're waving goodbye. door closes and it's kind of sad to see them all go. Yeah, when 150 specs up to go wrong, but nothing went wrong. Something.
Everything went perfectly. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing, and you guys are awesome, and you take care of all of us, and it never felt unsafe for a second. No, never felt unsafe ever, and you guys are the best hosts and hostesses, and I thought it was a very spiritual tour, much more so than I ever expected. The group itself was so simpatico, and you just kept us all moving in the right direction, and moving 152 people is a lot of work, and I never felt like we had 152 people. It was it was amazing. It was wonderful, very spiritual. Yeah, and all the holy sites of grand, and the flexibility, watching the plan change without letting anyone know what's yes. going on. It yes. was it was truly grand, truly safe, truly beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it was great. I think every Christian needs to make a pilgrimage here. It was the best experience of my life. Absolutely wonderful. I yeah, very organized. I don't think you could get a better, better deal. It was fabulous. Lifetime dream. I was thinking that, you know, you see a lot of ancestry.org. Well, this is faith.org. <laughs> to very go back, back to the history where it all started from. And we were there. Fabulous. Uh, it was awesome. I mean, you know, the, the masses everywhere were incredible and the sights and thank you for what you did for us and the privileges, like you said yesterday at the sepulcher to have that mass there. That was really wonderful. So, really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, wonderful, spectacular, great, enjoyable, fun, exciting, adventure-filled, and most important, Holy field. It's great. It was just to be in the spots where these things happen is just mind blowing. We had four buses being used to transfer four different groups to the airport. Janet and I enjoyed giving our final farewells and encouragement. Here's the last of the four buses going out at 7 a.m. all the way back home. God bless them all.